Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to the beginning of my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. We are here to, well, I am here because I'm the only one here to represent the hardworking, low income single parent. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. All right, everybody, it is my favorite day or second day of the month. This is the last payday of September. This is paycheck B, as I like to call it. Today, we are going to do our cash stuffing for our wallet so that we can have variable funds for the next two weeks. And also, we are going to save some money in our cash binders and um, contribute to some saving challenges. So let's get started. Without further ado, let me first tell you that there are some updates. Before I go to the bank, I always like to sit down and review my bank accounts and see, make sure that what I have written out makes sense. What I figured out was that um, utilities, it doesn't make sense to pull that out. I'm putting $75 into utilities fixed funds and I'm going to leave that in the bank because my bill will be due the next pay period. The reason I made utilities a sinking fund is for the overflow. So any extra money that I want to contribute to my utilities, like my heat, gas, stuff like that, I am putting that aside in a binder because when I paid the extra credits, for some reason, it just didn't look right in my account. So I want to make sure that my credit is actually being applied correctly. So I'm just going to keep that to the side for when my utility goes up in the wintertime, when it starts to get cold and I have to turn the heat on. Um, I know the bill is going to go up for all of us. You know, that's just how it goes. So I'm putting a little extra to the side for that. But I know I, my bill came out and I know that the bill will be $112. So I'm going to put that $75. I'm going to leave it in the bank. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and pay that $75 since the bill is not due until mid-October. And then when I get my next paycheck on October 11th, I'll pay that remaining. So I believe it's $40 because I wrote that there. But let's see. So $112 minus $75. Yeah, I rounded up to it'll be about $40 that I'll put on there in the next paycheck. So I'll just go ahead today. I'm going to pay all of these bills today. Um, mortgage, I have half in there already from last pay period and another half in there from this payday today. Allowance is put on a card for my daughter. Um, internet, all of these I will pay right out. The only thing that I can't pay out now is Amazon. They I don't believe, I mean, if you guys know of a way, I don't believe they let you pay early. I couldn't figure out a way to do that. But if you guys know, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just leave it in there and let it uh, roll over. Um, so I made that adjustment. And of course, I had to change the balances. But nothing changed as far as totals. It just got moved over. That's all. So you'll see nothing else changed. It just got moved over to fixed expenses. So now... For sinking funds, instead of, instead of pulling out 124 for sinking funds, we're only going to stuff $49 in the sinking funds. $115 will go in our always fund, which is the binder that I contribute to every payday. And then $50 will go to our savings challenges. So let's go ahead and start stuffing. I keep this to the side. Of course, since that changed, the amount of funds that I pulled out had to change. So I had to get rid of utilities. So I took out that 5, 20, and 50 from the balance down here. It looks crazy, but you guys, you know how it is. <laughs> and then up here in dining, um, I took my daughter out for breakfast this morning. So we sent, spent $10. It's her birthday today. Um, so we spent $10 there and I took that $10 off dollar bill off so at the end of the day we pulled out 459 dollars instead of the 544 originally so let's make sure that should be 85 dollar difference so 544 minus 85 yep so we did that math right yay i'm just going to keep this to the side so that i know what i'm stuffing we're going to count our funds and make sure we got 459 from the bank so this teller today was a little bit different. I mean, she was nice, but I had just had a day today, so I wasn't in the mood. But I'm always nice to people that are nice to me. It wasn't her fault. She said that the rule is that even though I have this little slip here, 
this is the old one not the new one that i made but i write these out and i take it to the bank and i do still fill out the bank slip i just don't fill out the extra note area where it says to put us uh, you know it just says put any extra notes so that's where some people would put how they want the money back or the teller would just ask you how you want the money back so instead of that and saving them time and myself time I fill out my account number, how much I want to withdraw, and then for the note area, I just put C attached. And I put this in when I send it up through the, I do the drive through So when I send it up, I put this in there. And most tellers are like, oh, thank you so much. This just saves us so much time. I will get that right out to you. End of story. This one was like, no, you can't write it on a separate piece of paper. It has to be written on the actual sheet. I'm like, okay so i guess next time that's what i have to do <laughs> i was talking to my friend on the phone and we were just like there are some people who will follow the rules no matter what like not this particular situation because if the rules are the rules the rules are the rules whatever you know it's not her fault we all just have to do our jobs but it's just like overall in general people in society period will just do whatever they are told to do no matter how dumb it is like uh, I don't know. Have you guys ever heard of that experiment where they put a bunch of people in jail and made some people jailers and made other people prisoners and the people who were the jailers or the police, mind you, this is all make believe in an experiment. They just went overboard and they were like starving the people and abusing them and their, they, their, the power that wasn't even real just completely went to their head. I, I, maybe my brain goes too far with these things. Clearly, this was not directly related to that, but me and my friend got on a tangent when we were on the phone, and I just started thinking about that experiment. And then there was another experiment that they did. I don't even know how long ago these were, but I learned about them a long time ago in school or in college. I can't remember. But there was another experiment where they gave people a machine, and they were supposed to push the button to shock people. An electric shock would go to the person um, that was in another room so they could hear the person react to these shocks and they just wanted to see how far people will go just based on what they're told to do like you know based on authority how far people will take it and people took it all the way up to level 10 these people were crying and begging you to stop I don't think it was real I can't remember if that was before experiments could be <laughs> dangers like that because they had to make a rule where you could not like torture people in real life so I can't remember if they were actually hurting these people but even if I thought I was hurting somebody in the next room like that I couldn't do it like I don't care who's telling me to do it unless okay I'm going overboard this is so not to do with budget but unless you're threatening to hurt me or you know you got a gun to my head I'm not doing that what okay anyway <laughs> Back to what you're really here for. So let's start with counting. So we're doing, we're just gonna go ahead and not even pretend we know how to do math. Let's see, 50, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 459 that's what we should have let's put that to the side and we're going to do our stuffing so we're going to do variable funds and sinking funds over here so in our variable funds 150 and then there's three 20s oops jeez aggressive so we know that the other 20s go on the other side We have one, two, three, tens, and then for fives, one, two, three, four, over here, and the rest go over here, 
And then one, two, three, four, five ones. And the rest go over here. So variable funds, which are things that I will need throughout the week. Sinking funds, these are all going to go into savings and savings challenges. So sinking funds and savings challenges, if I said it correctly. All right, let's put these to the side. Um, I'm going to do it the other way today. Mix it up. Um, if you guys saw my community post, I said that I wanted you guys to do something different today. Just to show that you're alert and aware and present just do something different doesn't have to be that exciting all right so we're going to start with always fund go first we're putting 35 into my child's beauty this is for her hair which she needs done we'll take out her braids this week and wash it and get her ready for something new so 35 dollars more is going in there Let's see where we are. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we have $140 in there for her now. Hopefully that is enough for, that should definitely be enough for one hairstyle at least. I don't know. These braiders and stuff. <laughs> I mean, they got to get their money too. So I get it. So she is right now with my niece. She, um, I guess my niece has some surprise or something for her. So that's where she is. We are going to do the escape room with some of her cousins this weekend. So that should be fun. That's, that'll be for her birthday. Water is going to get $10. Water always gets $10. That's going to bring us to $20. And I think the last video I said that I was going to do these expense sheets at the end. But that messed me up because I forgot to do something. So we're just gonna do those right now so that we can stay on track. Okay, Pet is going to get 15. See, Pet we use, not that often, but we use it. So pet has 10, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Pet now has 46. And I'm not worried about doing the colors at this point. We're too far gone, <laughs> too far gone. All right, Christmas is going to get $30. So we have, let's not even do it to ourselves. 20, 40, 60, 81, 150. No, what was the point of that? <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140, 150, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 260. Lord, y'all, don't judge me, okay? I'm on camera doing it. I'm sure y'all do it at home. <laughs> 260 said it right the first time all right we added 30 so that's 260. like i said i'm not too sure what the goal will be for christmas i mean we're cutting it close so we'll see i know i have like um 
almost $200 that I am getting a refund for. So that'll go in there. So at least $400 we'll have, which I think is okay. Um, emergency card care is going to get $10. So the goal for this is at least 500, but I need a car wash badly. So I don't know where I'm gonna take that from. I shouldn't take it from here, right? Let's start that over. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that doesn't seem right. How is that 150? Because there was 145 in there before. I must have did some calculation wrong at some point. All right. That, for some reason, needs to be investigated. So we're gonna put that to the side. I have a feeling I messed something up there. So I will take another look at that. So let's go on to loan. We're gonna do $15. This is for student loans. So we're adding 15. that nasty five I don't like I'm gonna try to spend that 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 so there's 55 dollars in here now I'm just gonna switch this with a variable fund five so that I can spend that see this is why I should have as soon as I put the money in there that's when you should update it so learn from my mistakes mistakes if i could say it right we have 55 dollars in there all right we're still gonna keep car emergency to the side because something went wrong with those um something went wrong there Maybe I only put 10 on September 13th. Let me go back and look. I did. So I figured out on the 13th when I get paid, got paid, I only put 10 in there. See, I'm so used to doing 15, I messed it up. So I only put 10 in there. And because I did not do the calculations right then and there, I wrote the wrong number down. So on the 13th, we only put 10 in there, which would have bought it to 140. And then today we put 10 in there and it brought it up to 150. So let's put this 150 back. See, I am learning as I go, you guys, and I know for a fact I won't do that again. These aren't in any particular order, so I'm just putting it in here. Okay, moving on. So utilities, we're not doing because that's gonna get paid. Home goals, we're putting in $10. Here is our home binder. Home goals is gonna get $10. What are you going to get? Just a $10 bill. Okay, home goals. This is for a lawnmower. 20, 30, 40, 45. So now it has 45. I'm giving my fake nails a break because for, I feel like it was affecting my grip. So that was kind of hurting my hand, but my hand feels a lot better now. So I don't know if maybe the nails are not such a good thing for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just, it just got better because of time. <laughs> but I'm giving them a break anyway. Like the natural needs to breathe every now and then. All right, that's it for that. 
binder. Family fun is in our family binder. That's gonna get a 20 and five. enough in here only put a 10 and a 5 duh i need i should have put a 20 and a 5 all right so let's do that right 20 40 50 55 can you tell i got a lot of stuff on my mind today 56 57 58 59 60 61 maybe i should have did this tomorrow all right 61 okay i try not to wait on the cash stuffing though in case i need to spend any money because that just throws everything off like already that ten dollars is gone from variable funds so but it was my daughter's birthday so all right electric savings is the last sinking fund electric savings if you don't know this is my transportation binder electric savings is for a remote car starter that's the goal and i don't know i need anywhere between 200 and 400 dollars so we're gonna do 10 one two three four Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three. Make sure. Yep. We don't need any more mess ups. This one's coming along pretty good, so I'm happy about that. Definitely want to get that before it starts to freeze and snow. All right, there we go. And I took this off of my wallet that I got from All Things Planned, and I just put it on here. I just found that when I was buying stuff it kind of got in the way of the wallet so I and mean, it's just pretty right there okay now we're gonna move on to savings challenges so the succulent savings challenge is getting 44 dollars, which is what we owe in a sense so we were here at the 44 dollars yay so let's make sure we stuff that into our savings binder so we got two 20s and four ones. Yes. This savings challenge I'm saving for vacation next July. At least it's a goal towards that. I don't know if this will be enough. I believe the goal for this challenge is $750. So. We haven't been on a real vacation together. We kind of, me and my daughter, we kind of just have gone to like road trips and stuff. So that'll be nice. 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 80, 200, 220, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 240 dollars. Sure. Yep. I mean, I've been all over the place for the last couple days, but it does not help that I have not been taking my medicine. 
And you know what, for a while I'm like, it doesn't even help, but there is a major difference when I take my ADHD medication. Like, first of all, I just got diagnosed when I was like 30 something. But my doctor said that it takes women longer to um, get diagnosed. I'm not going into all that. But anyway, I should be taking my medicine and I have not. Um, habit tracking is helping a little bit because I can kind of look back and see, oh, you're not taking it these days. You should be. So um, I'm going to get back into it. Um, Go coin challenge is done. So we don't need that anymore. And I'm not going to start another challenge until I'm done with the plant challenge, which we're going to contribute to now. So we're putting $6 into here. Why did I put this away? Because I still need this. Let's stuff our $6 first. And I did go through yesterday to see if I... Um, to calculate how much I have stuffed in here and whether I missed a few of the leaves that I was supposed to color in. And I did. So here's the house plant challenge. So I filled those in. So let me fill in six more since we have put $6 in there. All right, we're making our way up. I love seeing these savings challenges. It's just a way to keep you motivated and to actually see like a visual kind of progress. Even though I guess the money is technically visual. <laughs> That is it for our binders and our savings challenges and our sinking funds. Let's move to our wallet. So what are we going to do? Are we going to go back to my Kyle wallet, which I love? Or are we going to go to this binder wallet, which actually has the pen and the trackers attached to it? I mean, these have trackers too. So, ugh. these have trackers too. Income is just for anything that has to go back to the bank. So I put that in that separate envelope. You know what? Let's just finish September with the binder wallet. I only got to use the miscellaneous envelope before, but I had bought these also from All Things Planned and I got these um, individually made. I noticed that I didn't get a grocery one um, and I did that on purpose back then, but I forgot I did it. <laughs> but it actually worked out because groceries is now a fixed expense. So let's go ahead and stuff these. Personal is getting $50, two 20s and a 10. So this is a little bit different. I have to fold these up. How do I want to do it, y'all? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, let's see. What about this? Okay, it goes all the way in, so that's not bad. Okay, home is getting 30, a 20, and a 10. And I really hope this is all in frame because... I have not checked. Um, let's see what's next. Gas gets 60. Where's gas? Right here, a 50 and a 10. And I do need gas right now, so I'm glad we got paid today. Entertainment gets 45, four tens and a five. Where are you going? Ah, uh, I need to spend this five ASAP. I want to tape it, but I don't want to mess it up even more. All right, let's see. Maybe they won't notice when I give it to them. <laughs> Here's entertainment right here. So let's see. There's entertainment. Okay, dining is where? Right here, dining out is getting 35 since we already spent 10. 10, 20, 30, five. Okay. 
and last is miscellaneous which is getting 25 10 15 20 5 all right 25 okay now let me update these trackers <laughs> So what I did figure out, you guys know that I experiment and I try different things. What I did figure out that what I will do is for grocery. So what I did was I wrote out my grocery list and I kind of just highlighted the ones that weren't groceries. I put them on a different side of it and um, I highlighted what's for home and what's for personal. So like a sink strainer, we got to get a new one of those and toilet paper that's for home. $20 will come from home. Deodorant will be, it's about $6. I have a pre-pool that I want to get. You guys know I have natural hair, so I saw that I needed some more of that. And then there's leave-in conditioner. So this, I'll know that I'll have to pull out $20 from home. And I don't have a bank envelope in here. Let's get one. Let's make one. I'm just going to pull it from my little vacation binder that I used. I went binder crazy do not recommend for when you're starting out you don't need all of these binders which speaking of binders i think i might actually separate my daughter's um like high school binder from the rest of the things that she has hopefully this fits in here i don't even know if it will Ugh. i need to work out okay so this will be our back to the bank binder so what I decided to do is to calculate how much I'm spending in each category. So let's just say, for instance, I'm spending only $150 in groceries and then I'm spending this $20 from home. I'm going to take the $20 from home and put it in the back to the bank envelope. And when I spend that $170 from the bank account, I'll know that $150 came from groceries. So I'll still have $20 left. And 20 came from home, so I'll still have $10 left in home. And I'll take that back to the bank. I'll take that $20 back to the bank to deposit it. It will have come from either the grocery balance or from my buffer. It doesn't really matter because the money is going to go back into the bank. So, but that's a good reason to have a buffer. If you don't have a buffer, you could use a credit card for that and just pay the credit card back. But that is purely up to you or you could put it in the bank first and then spend it totally up to you but if you use cash you have to have some kind of format that works for you because there are going to be some times that you have to use you don't have to of course but i like to use grocery pickup so i don't i mean you could also decide to just do grocery pickup and do the rest of it in the store but you get me at Walmart and you're not going to get me out for at least less than maybe 50 to $75. So this way I pay for it. I'm done. I don't need to see anything but what I need. We're going to stick to what I need. So I'm going to put this in here just to remind myself so that when I do the purchase, like I said, I will take out whatever I use from home. This is also a reason I like to break up the bills. And then I'll put it in the back. Well, I should probably open it first. And here, and that'll go back to the bank of my next run. And the rest will, the rest will keep in home. And then we'll document here on that grocery balance sheet. We will note, for example, I won't write it, write it down, but we'll note $50 in groceries, $20 balance. So that we know if we want to stop in the grocery store for something else or we need some fruit throughout the week or some eggs, we can buy that because we still have money in the bank account for that. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I will explain more. My question of the day is, do you think I should separate my daughter's binder into... Her personal binder, which is things for her, like her birthday, her clothing from high school. So it'll be school, 
miscellaneous splurge will stay in here junior prom senior year and graduation so should i make a separate envelope for those because i do have another binder i still have a purple binder that i'm not using um so we could use that for school or for her personal her personal was originally in that purple binder so we could go back to that then i feel like it's gonna throw off the envelopes i don't know let me know what you think i'll figure out the envelopes after <laughs> So let me know what you think. We are all set and ready for the week. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always appreciate it. I want you to remember that it is about progression and not about perfection. Clearly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy saving. Bye. Mm -hmm.